I got myself an LA home for Black Friday this year. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving, fancy babies! So this first half of the video is going to be a get ready with me for Thanksgiving slash Friendsgiving, and then we're going to get into a regular Black Friday vlog slash haul. So I just woke up from a nap. I'm going to start getting ready for Friendsgiving I'm hosting this year. Of course, I'm going to be wearing my beautiful mess fragrance for Friendsgiving. If you guys are interested in getting your own fragrance, which is my signature fragrance, it's down below in the description box. The DJ came over to start setting up, and that was my cue to to start getting ready upstairs and start glam. So before I do my makeup, I love to use my Radiant Spin Care System. This is the Duval brush I've been using for like five years now. This spin brush is not only my favorite because it literally cleared my skin a while ago, but also because it comes with multiple heads. It comes with four heads. It comes with a body brush, a pumice, and two cleansing heads. I have an extra cleansing head in my basket because I do have multiple. I do think this makes a brilliant Christmas gift and you guys can use my code BLACK. 75 for 75% off. I love using this before doing my makeup because it's incredible at exfoliating. It makes my skin nice and firm and it unclogs my pores and cleansing my skin with this product is a whole different level of clean compared to using my hands and other tools. The Radiance brush head gets dirty after use so that's why I'm glad there's multiple heads and this tool is really really easy to clean. The link is down below if you guys are interested in getting your own or getting this brush as a gift for a family member or friend. Look how beautiful it is just sitting under my tree. Now it's time to go down to the kitchen, put my vintage apron on, and begin cooking for Friendsgiving. I don't know if you guys noticed anything, but the tea room now has a table and I'm so glad I have a table to set for events now. I feel like I haven't set a table for holidays since the last house, so I'm really, really happy to have this table. So the dishes are in the oven heating up and now it's time for me to go upstairs and finish the glam process. So I'm actually going to show you guys this straightener that I've been using. So this is the Rendezvous Styling Iron. I use this iron to straighten, curl, add volume. It's super easy to use as a styling tool. I've been bringing it with me to travel. I've been using it since the fall and I absolutely love it. It has a really, really good top line MCH heating element for even heat and I love this factor because my hair is super ble bleach blonde and pretty damaged so I want to put as less heat as possible on my hair but with the effectiveness as a very hot straightener. If you guys are interested in getting your own styling iron, I will have that link down below in the description box as well. I think it would make a lovely Christmas gift. And now let's get back into Friendsgiving. So I'm sure you're wondering who is sitting in the back behind me. This is just one of my friends. My friends already started coming over as I was getting ready. I got ready pretty late because I was cooking for a while. So this is just me and my friend. We're just like catching up as I'm getting glam. So this is the full look. I ended up putting my hair up in a slick back ponytail and then we went to the club after we had our feast. We went to Corked Nightclub in Bethlehem and as you can see, they were really sweet and put Gab's Giving on this board. I felt so cool. <laughs> 
So it's the next day and I really didn't think I was gonna go Black Friday shopping this year. My friend Jess and I, we went to go get pedicures at Le Spa and we actually ended up stopping at the mall on the way home because you have to pass the mall to go home. So I ended up going to Swarovski and trying on a bunch of glamorous and beautiful jewelry. Hey booze, so I might actually have the lamest Black Friday haul ever, but I'm still gonna film this portion of the video because Black Friday hauls, you know, I have to keep them going. So as you can see, obviously Nikki and I did not post our annual Black Friday haul video, and there's a reason for that. But before I tell you what this reason is, I'm gonna show you the very few things I got for Black Friday. As you guys saw, I got this Swarovski ring, these two rings. And of course, I got those swan heart earrings. I don't know if you guys remember, but in June, I went to Swarovski in New York City with my friends and I wanted these earrings. They were 30% off, so I got them. Ooh, this yellow box. <gasps> there they are. They're so gorgeous. They're clip-ons. You guys know I don't have my ears pierced. Whenever I stumble upon like a very gorgeous pair of clip-on earrings, the workers at Swarovski said like the, the total of like all these pieces together was supposed to be like over a thousand dollars but I got them for everything all together for 700 actually no it was like 680 or something we were shocked that it was under 700 in an upcoming video I do an entire holiday Bath and Body Works shopping spree and I'm kind of posting these out of order so I went back to Bath and Body Works on Black Friday because my friend wanted something from Bath and Body Works and I saw that I totally missed this one item so I had to get it um, it's called Iced Sugar Plum. You guys know I love the Sugar Plum Fairy and anything Nutcracker. Notes are Sparkling Sugar Plum, Snowdrop Petals, and Whipped Marshmallow, and this smells so good. And last but not least, I told you my haul is very lame for Black Friday, but I got these cookie socks from Altered State. I literally walked into Altered State, and usually I buy a lot of things from there, but Everything was just so overpriced and I was just like, I don't know, I didn't feel like I was vibing with anything for the price that they were marked as. I'm now finally gonna tell you guys why my haul is so little. Well, as you guys see or have seen on Nikki's channel, she just moved into her first like home. So she's busy like furnishing a home. You guys know I've had this home for like about two years now and I've been renovating it, but I got myself my own place in LA. That's literally crazy. I can't believe I'm saying that. And I was waiting to say it in a vlog. Basically, I'm able to say it now. So I'm hoping in this Gabmas season that I can get to making a vlog while I'm there or like a reno vlog or just show you in general what my new home looks like in LA. I'm still gonna be living here. I just needed like a West Coast home. And the goal is to eventually have an apartment in New York City, an apartment in LA, and then my house estate in Pennsylvania. That's like the goal. So right now is the house here and the apartment in LA. And I'll do a whole video about my apartment in LA. But basically, I know a lot of the questions on my last vlog in my travel routine, you guys saw I was in an Airbnb and I wasn't at the dollhouse where I was subletting before. Um, basically, I, I no longer sublet with Hannah, but we're still very close and she's gonna be my LA girly. And I'm really excited to still like hang out with her and hang out in the dollhouse. Basically just wanted and needed my own space, especially when I go to LA, my schedule and calendar is just like all over the place and it just is not set up for like a roommate scenario, like, especially with rehearsals and stuff. The last time I was there, it was like super early call times. I would get in super late and like there was staging going on and like photo shoots and it was just like the schedules just didn't go together, but I definitely did very much enjoy staying with Hannah when I did stay with her. I love her so much. There's no ill will, nothing bad happened, but basically I have my own place in LA and um, I'm going to LA in the next like week or so to you know just like get everything settled and come up with like a design that I want to do with my place and I'm excited to bring you guys on that journey with me so basically I got myself an LA home for Black Friday this year but that's it for this fancy vlog I love you guys so much the next two videos I promise are longer and I actually like vlog and talk to you guys I'm I know you guys are probably like really sick of like the voiceover style because like when we talk to each other and like I said 
a lot of like my holiday videos are sponsored for the holiday season so I'm, again I'm sorry about that but you can always just skip over them I love you so much um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in my next fancy vlog